So we want to talk to Arthur a little bit about his experience with ICL. So Arthur, when did you first start using it and what do you think have been the biggest changes in the last 30 years? It started 30 years ago and we weren't taking a huge number of cases then, but then a very big change came in 2014 for us where the little lens got a little hole in and that made the lens more forgiving in terms of sizing. But the next biggest change came earlier this year that you're very aware of, where we got a new method using AI and ultrasound to size the lens extremely well, so much so that we can predict afterwards what the vault will be, what the angle will be, and all those things make it way safer, more predictable. And I think that's one of the reasons why we've increased our, our use so much. What is your view on what ICL Guru has done for us? Um, well, I suppose it's, it's important to explain why that vault and these measurements are so important. Um, so ICLs fit behind the iris in front of the natural lens. And if they're too big, they push the iris forward too much uh, and make the angle narrower. And if they're too small, they can, they can touch the natural lens. So I never did an ICL before using the ICL Guru because I went to Argentina in November of 2023. And after seeing how predictable it was with this new methodology, I decided I didn't want to do it without it. So I actually waited until we had uh, the Sonomed before doing ICL. And you know, it's been incredibly accurate and, and I have an incredible confidence with it now that I think most people starting out with might take a long, long time to develop that, that confidence. It's just allowed me to very confidently recommend it to patients because I know if they're a good candidate and the scans suggest they're a good candidate that they're, that they're going to do well. And the sizing will be right. Yeah, I think what it does is it gives us confidence to do it and if, if we're confident then patients are confident too. The other thing it does too is for patients in the past where we've said you're not suitable because we don't have enough confidence it's going to work, suddenly now they, become, they do become suitable. Yeah. So, and why do you think ICL is growing as much as it is besides ICL Guru? I think, um, I think we really overestimated how important uh, or how, how something being permanent puts people off a procedure. So a, a permanent good result is obviously fantastic, but people are understandably worried about a permanent bad result. I think the fact that ICL is additive and completely reversible is one of the reasons why more and more people, especially um, people who may have been um, used to contact lenses, really find, the, find it very appealing. So what we've seen in years gone by, ICL was for very high corrections, and now it's becoming much more popular for lower corrections because of the very quick recovery, um, not much dry eye, and so yeah, we expect it's going to continue growing. 